two parts. Never. Now listen, you're going to hear a lot of things here you ain't never heard before, but we're going to be saying a lot of things. And whether they're true or not really doesn't make any difference. What makes the difference is you better start looking for fruits to, to make something so that you'll have something to measure things by and do what Jesus said because by the fruits you'll know the truth. By the fruits you'll know what tree it come from. Now you judge. Is the man and the woman made up of two parts or not? Okay, cut them cameras off. I'm going to say some things and uh, I want to give everybody... Now we all ready? Some of you don't get worried because it isn't going to affect you tonight. But it could affect you in future meetings. Because if you don't acknowledge that this man of sin isn't ruling in your body and controlling you, then you have no part in the kingdom of God. You have to know this to be able to call for a Savior to deliver you. You have to know this. So, Glenn O'Baker, either stand and acknowledge that the man of sin rules in you, or deny by staying seated. So I have. I know it. I don't have a problem with this, and I thank the Lord Jesus Christ that He's revealed it to me. Because I have to know these things to be able to tell you, so you'll have a chance to be delivered. If I don't, there ain't no way under heaven I would ever be able to make the judgment. I can't do it. I already know this. The Lord already showed me. I know this thing is in me and it controls me and it rules me. <laughs> Wade Stallard, listen. Stand and acknowledge or set and deny that the man of sin is ruling in you and has control, and the only God that you manifest is recognized by fruits that you produce. Now, he's not here, but he'll get a copy of the tape. Robert Blanton, stand and acknowledge or set and deny that the man of sin is ruling in you and has control and only, only God that you manifest is recognized by the fruits that you produce. Now, I don't want you people to stand unless you really believe this. Because if you do, you're just deceiving yourself. And you need to know personally. Jeff Litt, stand and acknowledge or set and deny. And he stands. Alan Stallard, stand and acknowledge or set and deny. Glenn G. Baker, stand and acknowledge or set and deny. Mike Biddle, stand and acknowledge or set and deny. Now the reason I mentioned just these ones here because they were a part and still are as far as I know. 
and want to be, because I've questioned all of them, of the order. But they have to know that this man of sin is running their life and the standards that have raised up and they go by is from the tree of knowledge, the fruit thereof, good. Listen, hear what I said? They're gone by the tree of knowledge, the fruit there of good, passed down by tradition. Jesus made it plain back in the garden that you could not touch that tree nor eat of that tree. That's confirmed more than one place. You cannot touch that tree nor eat of that tree. That means you could not touch the fruit of good or evil. And if you'll notice that the world recognizes evil and only recognize is good as God. They recognize good as God. That's why they've added an extra zero to show you how they overemphasize good. And I told you one time before, Russia has good, the Chinese have good. Come on now. All these nations have good. The United States has good. France has got good. And some of these nations, their good is against other nations' good. But that standard that they raised up, they even send their people out to war against one another, even to the place to where they destroy their fruit that they sent out to war, claiming in the name of God, using good as in the name of God, and it won't work. It won't work. God is left completely out of the picture, and the reason He is because He will not allow to look into spiritual things. And you people that really want to look into spiritual things, you better stand up and be counted and get involved and pour your heart out and be filled with the Holy Ghost Amen. or you're not even going to be qualified to even look or enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. I don't care what anybody says. Thank that you. is the end of the matter. Amen. Now, this includes all men and women called of God to acknowledge before running the race for eternal life. You have to know this thing is there. You have to know how strong it is in you. Yes. You have to know you can't get delivered from it before you can call out with all your might unto the Lord and say, Lord, save me. Oh, yeah. Lord, help me. Lord, deliver me from this thing. And He'll tell you, and make it plain as he can. You must empty out every drop of life in the natural in you and keep calling out to God until that last drop falls. And when it does, then he'll fill you with the Spirit of God and, and then you'll become a new creature. And the Bible says, I'll put my laws in your heart and in your mind yes. and then you'll do it. Right now, I'm not doing it. But when I put them in there, then you'll do it. You won't have a choice then either. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So let the people keep pinning and pointing, but don't hide from it. Keep your conscience clear and tender and wait for God to deliver you because your day will come when you, de when you decide. Praise God. But God doesn't wish anybody to perish, but all come to life. Thank you. And this is what it's really all about. Thank you. Okay. Has anybody got any questions? <laughs>